we're good. Hey everyone, Ragnamoonie here. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon. What background is this? I think this is a wholly unique background, from what I can tell. Anyways, Desert Ruins. Scorpion! Listen to this, though. This is a beat. Hello! You must be Spyro. Hello, a Gus. A lot of people are talking about all the things... I must help find Tara. She went to a tomb. Uh Oh, I thought we sh Look at that. We just uh, we just straight up annihilate these things. Also, I got hit immediately. Ow. We'll have to flame the bigger ones. Yeah, this is a beat right here. I like this. This is that classic stupid Ow! Okay, these guys can actually hurt. Gotcha. Oh yeah, these assholes. Remember that remember that mechanic in the beast in the beast uh, the beast makers world? Yeah, they brought that back. I hate that timing mechanic. Really hated that mechanic. Why did it get brought back? Sparks, do me a favor and actually do your job, please. <laughs> because we're on a harder, much harder difficulty, these guys get ridiculously better range, of course. Oh no! Thank God I can take hits. Oof. Oof. Sparks. Yeah, this is where this is where you start taking hits. I think as a kid I died a lot in here, if only because of just poor uh, just poor hit management. But once you take care of them, it's like it's oh hello. I needed this. Thank you. Can I make it from here? I can. Nice. We did all that for this egg. So this is where Andy was in Toy Story. I'll go ahead and get that fodder again. Oh no! 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 Oh! Thankfully, the fodder respawns very quickly. I was thinking about something last night too. Do you guys remember the section in Ape Escape where you have to go through? It's part of it's part of the final level where you have to go through and you have to go through this like big tech area and it's it, it, it always begins with an extra life. So every time you die, you just grab the extra life. I don't know why, but I was reminded of that some sometime last night. Just like that's a really cool innovation from back then. Hi, Spyro. Nice and forgiving, Haven't but at the same time, now. still get lets you be as balls to the walls possible. Right now. You know, sometimes you just long for the simple, old-fashioned pleasures of yesteryear, don't you? Yeah, but what could get more yesteryear than that? I know, 2D side scrolling. Literally, we're in freaking Mario now. Thankfully, we're not. Thankfully, this isn't like the second level, you know. First level grassland, second level desert. Whoa, ow. For whatever reason, those scorpions now take on a uh, blue coloring for some reason. That's one egg. Lester, the unlikely! Yes! <laughs> Even cries, too. Okay, I don't know why I was able to stomp on him like that. That should have hurt me, and or killed me, and or incinerated, and or, and or incinerated me. Frying tonight. Ow. Ugh. 
There's almost no way to miss the gems in here unless you're really unthorough. <laughs> you missed. Yours. And there's Pete. Now where's Pete? And we're done here. No, literally, we're done here. That's all there was to this. Just one last distraction for Sheila. By the way, Crystal Fisher live streamed some time ago. So, uh, as far as I know, he's back. Go check him out. He's like the king for Crash, Spyro. He is probably the best Spyro fanboy there is. And I wouldn't have it any other way. He's a damn good... He's a good content creator. Hell of a music producer, too, if I might say so. Now, if I had a little bit of income, I would buy all of his... I'd buy all of his albums. Nelly. N enough said. Nelly. I, I think that was, like, some kind of rapper from the early, late 2000s. Nelly. No? Oh, hey, extra life. Thank you. Gee, I wonder what we should do here. To quote H.C. Bailey, Aha! Secret passage! For a key. Honestly, can't remember where this goes. Sparks, help me out here. Somewhere in there. Or maybe somewhere... Oh, I think I might know where it is. We're gonna have to venture deep into the ruins. Oh, you! I just saw your ass in, in, the, in the damn Crystal Islands. What are you doing well, here? Well, Spyro, I bet you're glad to see me. It just Lies. happens that I know the uh, password to open the door to the tomb of the Stone Golem. But uh, it seems to have slipped my mind for the moment. Is it long live, Olmec? Oh, for the love of... See, this is how he gets password. Th this is this is pretty much the FBI virus right here. Locks your computer behind a F behind an FBI paywall, quote unquote, and forces and gets your information just to make sure that you can get your computer <laughs> pretty well, much then. back. The password to open the tomb is gullible. And that's not the password either. There's a button behind you. Okay, there was no password. I was standing in front of the wall switch. What are you gonna do? Sue me? One of these days, money bags. One of these days. Pow! Right in the kisser! Oh god. The scorpions are advancing. Ow. Look at that, though. Okay, get him, then get him. That was a, that was a lot of uh, issue right there. Okay. Kill you. Let's go down here. One more scorpion. Ha! Okay, he's there. He's gonna power it up. Wait for it. Now I'll go here. Yeah, you're not you're not gonna avoid a hit like that. <laughs> I sure as heck did. Let's come down here. We. Oh look, portal. Again, we. Water. In a desert. This doesn't seem right. First things first. Go and get the gems. Okay, so, obviously these are the sharks from the last game, and that's the manta ray from the last game, now pack and heat. Hey, Hunter. I've been training my new pet manta ray to carry the latest technology super high impact underwater missile launchers. Yeah, let's shoot sharks. Just watch out for the shark riders. They're carrying the latest JX-5 underwater tracking ammunition. JX-5. That does not sound at all pleasant. What 
Unfortunately, your ammunition doesn't pull in, so you have to be pretty damn precise. Oh, watch this. Whee! Loop de loop. Oh god, I even I hit the White House. No. Looks like a White House. Okay, that's three. That's four. Five. Oh, and in case you're wondering about blasting these seaweeds, take a wild guess what we get for this. If I can actually blast all the seaweed. I believe you have to do this without taking a hit, too. Because if you take one hit from these guys, it's like, don't hurt my mana ray, man. Want to try again? There we go. Skill point. Come here, you devil. And that extra life. You have to shoot all the seaweed for a skill point. Okay, there's six. How did I snipe him from here? You saw that. You know I was firing a spread shot. What sucks is he actually... Whoa, hello. Any gems up here? All of them, good. Okay, there are gems left, so Sparks, lead on. Okay, we're good gem-wise, so now we just have to track down the last chart. Hold still, you! I'm a terrible shot. What am I talking about? Look at that. I couldn't even get him at point blank. There we go. Good lord. Nice shooting, comrade. We're what are you, uh... Bianca said it. Oh, oh, hey, Sadie. Now we just gotta find Steven and Lars. Oh, and afterwards, uh, you can talk to him again if you want to just ride the Manta Ray around for fun. And by that, that pretty much means, hey, do you want that skill point? Oh, you're gonna have to ride the Manta Ray. Uh, I did get all the gems in there, right? Excusez-moi, s'il vous plaît. It's like the only French I know. That normally do fromage. But everybody knows that. We watched Dexter's Lab as kids. Well, uh, some of us did. Hey, remember that one where that was cut from the air because it was nothing but cursing? <laughs> ah, lost episodes. Let's see. Oh, right! There's actually a, a glide that I have to make here. This is a tri this is a tricky glide. Well, there's two ways you can do it. I'm going to show you the way that I did it. <laughs> Watch this. I'm not making that, though. Yeah, that's the way I was trying to do it the entire time as a kid. When in reality, all you have to do... Yeah, there's gems up there, by the way. <laughs> uh, that's the way I tried doing it as a kid. And it kind of reminded me of Dry Canyon from Spiral 1. Remember that spiral glide you had to do? <laughs> yeah, so I struggled, but I eventually did that no problem. When all you have to do is come over here, and look at that. Easy. That was a lot easier. Why couldn't I have known that as a kid? Anyways, we come up here. Destroy enough of that door. Oh, and yes, she recycles Bianca's animation from when she was evil. We still have a problem. We're missing a treasure chest somewhere. The locked chest. So before I talk with whoever that mouse mate is, let's go find this uh, treasure chest. I think there's gems in here, too? No. Alright, so it's just a shortcut. Yeah, that's all that was, too. Stupid, wasn't it? Oh, I remember where it is. It's like over here. There you are, my lovely. Uh, 
And that's all the gems. Now we gotta talk to the Mouse Maiden, and we are done. By the way, of the Redwall character archives, Mariel is the best one. Hey, that was a great book series. You shut up. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, that's the recy that's recycled animations from uh, Bianca, more or less. Well, well, look at you. Showing up here to raid the tomb after I've done all the work. More quirk? I spent all day pressing switches and shoving boxes around, and you just waltz in here expecting to claim the treasure. Yes. Well, might as well have it. Only turned out to be a lousy egg anyway. So let me get this straight. You raid tombs, and your name is Tara. Oh, I hear if I claim use my own, you are now named Tara Loft. Uh, Tara Loft, Desert Raider Extraordinaire, original character, do not steal. And the egg's named Marty. Great Scott Marty! Yeah, that's all there was to it. And we just watch her. Come on, give us control back at least. We just walked her. We just watched her march right away. Wow, that was a short level. We did that in like 16 minutes. That's not bad at all. That's great time. All right, now I have to put a toss up. I know exactly what we're doing. I know exactly what we're doing. I'm gonna give you guys a treat. Two levels, one video. Here we go. Ah, uh, not haunted tomb. Yes, haunted tomb. You know what? I forgot to make a save state before all this. I hope all this is in sync. Ah, if it isn't, I could just go back to the previous and replay through Crystal Islands. Look! Dog! Ah! Yet another daredevil adventurer has come to rob our catacombs of loot. Yes. By the way, the thing is riddles. Here is my riddle. I am a vessel without hinges, lock or lid. Yet... Within my walls, a golden treasure is hid. What am I? Gee. I wonder what it could possibly be. <sighs> oh yeah, by the way, there's, uh, there's a lot of undead things here. Like mummies. Ow. Oh, and this thing right here, you, uh, you can't kill straight away. Right. Oh, this is why I hate this level. Not, not only is there a, a, de a super death slide of sorts, but you gotta let them, like, throw stuff at you, dodge it, pick it up in your mouth, and do that. I would highly recommend keeping a couple of these alive, because otherwise, it's going to get messy when you try to deal with them. Oh! Mainly because that's how you get gems. Yeah, it's not the mummies that do it, it's for whatever reason other things. Grr. Okay, easiest skill point ever. Good, now cast Magic Missile at it. Oh yeah, dogs. Anubian Jackals, more accurately. I'm gonna take you really quick because... Oh shit, come on, pick it up. There we go. Ow! Man, I am just missing today. That's what happens if it hits you directly. Like it just explodes in your face. Take that! Glide over here. Oh, cool. And extra life. Oh, wasteful, isn't it? I mean, yeah, you could sort of come here if you need more, well, ammunition. But it's a bit risky. Because it requires you to go into harm's way. There we go. Easy. Easy. 
Let's go ahead and pick up some ammo. Always try to have ammo on hand in this level, just because it makes navigating this section of the level immensely easier. I probably should have kept one around. Crap. I like the design of those dogs. They remind me of a few people. Let's see, there's the god Anubis. Of course. There is uh, Doggy Kruger from Power Rangers SPD. In all honesty, Power SPD was a great Power Rangers series. If you need like a catch-up on like on a Power Rangers series, I highly recommend check out Linkara. Oh hey, we can get some here too, I think. Yes, we can. Yeah, Linkara like is pretty much the go-to place if you want to catch up on all the series of Power Rangers if you were a fan as a kid. He does great work. Well, at least on Power Ranger stuff. Never really cared much for comic books, only because I could never get into them. Though comics are good to see every time. Comics are good to see time and again. Ugh. Ow. Ow again. Thank God we have that extra hit point, right? God damn it. I wonder if I can get him to destroy this. So close. Ah, at least we got two for one. Take that, Anubis, and give me that egg. Ah, Chris. <laughs> the bug was in the way. <laughs> the bug was in the way of the blocking animation. Ah. Late PS PS1 games. You never cease to amaze. You never cease to amaze me. So I do that. Never cease to amaze me. Is the switch up there or down here? Oh, it's down here. I think it's back there. Yeah, it's back here. Almost. Almost. Well, the way I look at it, they have to give you bombs some way. In some way. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to get all the gems in one run. Ow. Awesome, we're almost level 50. Soon we can first awaken. Wait, that's Dungeon Fighter Online. Oh, right, I have to trigger a switch somewhere, too. Hate that. By the way, the ank symbol you see here? Magicado! Shisha Sonse! Gotcha. I wonder how much of this... I wonder how much of everyone's ears this is raping. Pardons if it is. Ow. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Crap. There we are. And let's go ahead and do... Where are you? That. I mean, there's a portal there, but I'm waiting for a specific moment. Mainly because I don't want to have to I see you've managed to survive the trials of the catacombs. Yeah, I wonder what the answer to that riddle is. Uh, Gee, like I said, I want a. Hey, maybe it's a bandicoot. Who knows? No, it's an egg. Will. Will Smith. Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. I've waited 7,000 years. 7,000 years. Okay, that was actually a pretty good shot, not gonna lie. Alright, let's get another egg, shall we? It's time for slide number two. This one's pretty fast. Hey, look. We're running along Snake Way. Ah! God damn it.
So close. Don't want to oversteer. Don't want to oversteer. Don't oversteer. There we are. Malcolm. In the middle. Second time really is the charm here. We have all the gems here? No, we do not. Sparks, what gems are we missing, Boyo? Well, first things first. Now that the doors are actually open, we can... Ow. What way? That way. First things first, I'm making sure I have all the gems. And of course, like a flame, like a moth to the flame, my nose is itching. Oh, oh, is that? A is it really up there? All right then. Man, I'm missing a lot of gems in here. I really did. God damn. All right, this way. Wow, I missed that one. Such a simple one to miss. That's all the gems, really? They kept them in one area. Alrighty then. No wonder I thought I was collecting a lot. But yeah, it's all the gems. Now it's eggs. Nothing but eggs. Whoa. Go ahead and collect that. Uh, you want the extra hit point because this is the worst section of the game right here. This is where I finally got the last egg on my very first playthrough. The first round of the annual Demolition Hovercraft competition... Demolition Derby! Oh, right, 12 years. Ready. Okay, so this minigame is a bit of a bitch. Mainly because you'll slowly move into the arena. There's four hovercrafts here. If you want to move in, it's going to close it. Immediately strafe. You want to just stick to the four corners, strafe. Do nothing but strafing. Don't get too close because then they'll lob shot and try to cheap shot you like that. Okay, that's three. It's going to be number four. I can never hit a lob shot to save my life, but the first round's pretty easy. Well. Alright, round one, we got Michael Jackson. Ow! You may now enter the championship round. Cool. Alright, so the championship round, the arena is extended to three more pillars of so uh, three more uh, bridges of sorts. Once again, when you get in, immediately strafe and try not to get pot shot right there. Got a nice one there. I'm gonna have to move closer. Once you take out the four here, focus on one pillar at a time. Sometimes you get lucky and they'll be just completely out in the open like so. So take advantage of that. Take full advantage of that if you can. Sometimes that won't be out in the open though, and you're gonna have to actually do things the hard way. So I'm gonna edge very close. You're gonna take a hit. You will take a hit at least once. Thankfully, they're very thankful for. They're uh, very. They're very forgiving in that regard though, because they do leave a couple of bugs for you. So, huzzah. Oh, and once you kill one on one end, another one spawns in. There's one more on each of these ends. We're going to see if I can't activate a snipe of sorts. Nope, we're going to have to get close. Get him before he comes back. There we go. Last one. I have plenty of hits, so I know I can take some. Come 
There we are. Ten out of ten. Easy peasy. That was indeed a battle for the ages. Yes, it was. And now we got TJ. TJ Detweiler. All right, and whenever you do that, it's. But there we go. That's all that. We have one more egg, and we're done. And it's an Agent 9 section. Woo! One of those dogs with funny hats put a curse on me just because I shot him in the butt a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> he said he turned my tail into a snake. Does it look like a snake to you? It does feel kind of funny. Come to think of it, oh boy, that dog's going to pay. <laughs> Behind this door, he I hears the re All right, footsteps. Okay, so um, don't do what I'm doing, because I'm going in here with only three health instead of five. But the way this works is you have a bit of a top-down perspective. Just shoot all the snakes and move on. First thing you want to do in this uh, second room... Ow. Okay, don't die yet, Agent 9. I said don't die yet, fool. I think there's health in the next room. Fatality. Damn it. Oh, and better yet, Behind you have to answer the riddle again. <laughs> kind of weird, isn't it? Rickish bullet ricochet. And because the auto-aim is not the greatest, uh, you have a bit of an issue. Much better. Is there health in this next room? Yes, there was! I'd have been fine, there would have been health here. I'm so upset. Good, good. Alright, doing good, doing good. Keep it going, monkey! There's another one health in here if you need it. Hopefully you don't. Ow. Okay, we'll take that. We can get their long reach out of here. You missed! Take care of all of them? Does now. Oh, hello. Was there another health in here? Yes, there was. Okay. There's two health in here, apparently. Now the final round. All that. And now we have uh, those thrower guys again. Take a while. Guess what those things they throw can do. I'm trying to manipulate them into helping us out. Alright, doing good, doing good, doing good. 
Ow. Hey, thanks. Ow. Woo. Alright, help us out here, will you? As one. S2. Alright, one more. One more. Come on. Throw it. Throw it. And see what he We're done. That's all five waves. Give me that egg and get me out of here. Rock So that's what happened to the famous demons. You even coughed up a butterfly. You know, I'm kinda I'm kinda it's kinda weird. Why doesn't Sparks eat the butterfly that they cough up? <laughs> Who knows? Regardless, that's six out of six. Level complete. Yeah! Hmm. Beep, 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 beep. 6,100. Not a bad time, though. Thir uh, yeah, not a bad time at all. Let's heal up, and next time we meet, we only have one level left to explore. The Dino Mines. Till then, this is Ragnamune signing out. You guys have a great night. Thanks for watching. Safe state created. And I will see you guys next time. See you later. Take it easy.